Okay, so hello, I'm back. Um, you see, I got a green screen. I've always wanted one, but I was like, that's why I always do like uh, backgrounds. Anyway, you guys don't care. Anyway, before I even start the video, go watch my last video. Subscribe and like the video because I never say that. And I should still take that. So today I wanted to talk just briefly about Bridgerton, yes, I talk about Bridgerton, and I have thoughts on that, but I also have thoughts just in general of what I've been seeing people saying, so let's start with what I've been people saying about Pollen and Penelope and Colin. A lot of women who are in Penelope's position, ooh, who are in Penelope's position on where, like, they like a guy, and he treats her wrong, and he does all this stuff, have i'll put like a tiktok in have expressed that this is not the story they wanted these are my hot takes pertaining to season three all of the spice looks the same i'm just gonna be honest there's no reason why this veteran alpha woman would have the same vibe as <laughs> as like them you know what i mean it's just if you know you know she's a feminist she doesn't hate men romance like this is always targeted towards women and i feel like when you're writing these kind of stories you have to make sure that the man is more pathetic than the woman if I wanted to see a pathetic woman beg, beg for a male validation, I'd look out the window. That happens in real life. This is fantasy. All right, this is make-believe. Have that man groveling. But he did grovel. He did grovel. Not enough. Not enough. You Have you... Y'all haven't read what I've read. I've seen men beg, okay? I've seen people beg. I don't care what happens in the books. Change it. I'm rooting for this man. Instead of getting Francesca's story, we could have seen what marriage life is like. I feel like it would have been a nice change of pace. And before you say, well, we had to set up for the next season. You don't understand what's happening in the book. I do understand because y'all can't shut up and y'all spoiled everything for me in my comment section, okay? I understand we need to set it up. I do not care. It felt like it was too much going on. This friendship was made to make sure Eloise felt truly alone. She is alone in her ideologies and beliefs. And I think that's important. I wanted to see a pathetic woman beg, beg for a male validation, I'd look out the window. That happens in real life. And there it is. That's the reason. Because Penelope's storyline is more realistic to what a lot of real women go through than the other Bridgerton storylines, but it's not giving us the fantasy fiction payoff that we would want if we were actually in Penelope's situation. And that's why people are finding this season to be a lot less satisfying. Because a lot of people don't need to put ourselves in Penelope's shoes. We're already been in Penelope's shoes, right? You have this dude, he's taking you for granted. He doesn't want you, but he won't leave you alone. He's ruining all your shit. And Penelope is unable to move on to somebody else because there is no one else, right? No one's ever been interested in her. She's never been seen as a viable option. So she can't just like only check for people who are checking for her because no one's ever checked for her, right? Unless she's Arrow Ace, that's an unrealistic thing to ask for her to do. So she's stuck on this dude that doesn't want her, but then like the, the fantasy part, like the fiction part is, is too unrealistic because the real life Colin Bridgertons of the world are not going to wake up one day and realize that they've been taking her for granted and they've been in love with her the whole time and then go back and get the girl. If Penelope were in real life, she'd end up holding the bag while all of the men in the story live happily ever after with the other women that they decided to treat better. And the real life Penelope's of the world are bitter about that constant lack of karma. So if you ask them what kind of ending they would want for this story, it's not for Colin to just get away with it and not face any consequences for the way that he was acting. Colin didn't suffer enough. He was in a bad mood for 48 hours and then never actually did anything to earn Penelope's forgiveness back. He shouldn't get to just get the girl. He doesn't deserve the girl. The true fantasy ending that people want, like if you lived your whole life without being seen as a viable romantic option, what you want is to see Penelope be seen as a viable romantic option from jump, from somebody who sees her, understands her, and treats her well from day one. And that's why people would rather see her with Lord Devling. That's why people are seeing Penelope and Lord Devling together and saying, this is better, Colin needs to stay away. That's the fan fiction that the real life Penelopes are going to be writing to fix this story. They didn't want a girl to be groveling at the, for this man, foamy at the mouth for this man. And that's why a lot of people don't even hate Mr. Debling. I, I actually kind of like Mr. Debling for real. I feel like they let Cullen off the hook a little bit easily. And I feel like that's why this season is just not translating really well to some people. Bridgerton stands are always gonna like Bridgerton. So if you see, oh, like they're always gonna post good about Bridgerton, no matter what couple it is. 
But when you see like the actual like people who just watch the show and are actually just not biased and are not like super fans of the books and all that, just watch the show, you will hear their true opinions. They might like the show, but they will have reasons as to why they like the show. They won't just like it just because they're Bridget and Swans. And I totally agree. I feel like that's why I just didn't really vibe with the show. And he it just everything just came out of nowhere like when he was like if a husband is what you seek then let me help you it was like dude if you didn't do something wrong and you apologize then you're a liar she just told you that she's mad at you and you're saying oh let me help you instead of saying sorry he did say sorry but like his sorry was like oh i'm sorry that i hurt your feelings and that yeah he's not even sorry that he said that he's like i'm sorry that i heard your feelings and a lot of people just don't like colin but they like penelope which is the same situation i'm in i really do not like colin like not like do not like colin but i don't care for colin and the penelope is carrying this couple on her back let's say um so let's talk about miss part two trailer first of all cantony cantony is gonna be in it so of course i'm gonna be watching that come on guys i mean we'll find out congratulations but you must admit it's a rubber two the lady whistle down dilemma now i'm scared i'm scared because if Lady Whistledown is revealed to be Lady Whistledown, it's revealed to be Penelope. What's gonna happen to Lady Whistledown? Completely. Anne, it's with her What are you still the same? Have you been writing? Oh, yes, um, letters. Until he knows that she can't continue to write anymore. That's why I just felt like y'all should just have done Benedict season first, then done Penelope season after. Because what is gonna happen to Lady Rosadown? Will she continue writing? Will she get exposed? Will she have to? I don't know. And I feel like that's where the main conflict and the real drama is. Like the drama is not in the first four episodes. The drama is in the next four episodes so i know i'm gonna like and be stressed out about the next four episodes because what are y'all gonna do with lady whistle down for real because i need her i need her to be dragging these people and i feel like i i it, i feel like she shouldn't be revealed i feel like she shouldn't be revealed i feel like she should just go um to be anonymous but then it's like it's like they're ready to reveal her and it's like how y'all gonna reveal her like the show the major character in the show is lady whistledown y'all gonna reveal her and then what now she can't write she can't do shady things about the bridgertons she can't write anything i feel like that's just a core character of who penelope is and they're going to ruin it over a man and i'm just like so, like i don't know I want her to remain later with Sadat and I know the main conflict of the show is not Polly marrying Penelope. That's not the point of the show now that I've seen part two. Part two is about Lady Whistledown. The season is about Lady Whistledown. It's not even about Pollen if you really if you really deep it in your head for like more than three seconds. It's about Whistledown. And I'm in I'm in for the tea, like I know I'm about to be so stressed when the season comes on. I'll be so stressed sitting on my bed saying, being like so stressed, being like, oh my gosh, Penelope, she's gonna find you out. And then there's a scene in which like this girl, she just got engaged and she riding in the carriage on her way home like da 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 Penelope Featherington and Colin Bridgerton are to be married, are to be Dearest gentle reader, last night an announcement came with great speed. Mother. Oh! I 
am delighted for you both. <laughs> Call him Bridgerton, betrothed to Penelope Feather. Good. Girl's writing it in the carriage. She's like, <laughs> she's so excited that she's writing in the carriage. She's like, I'm waiting to go home. Yo, that's, I just found that to be so funny. Um, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't reveal who Lady Wizardon is. And I forgot to mention this. Actually, I did mention this, but it got cut out. A lot of people have been saying, oh my gosh, the guy... Hep Happy Pride Month, by the way. Happy Pride Month, by the way. Happy Pride Month, by the way. I'll always be in LA. I'll always be in LA. <laughs> I'll always be an ally. And my ally as brain was like... Eloise does not like men. Y'all can try to y'all can try to say that she likes men, but she just doesn't like men. I know it. She knows it. Girl, the 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 writers know it. If she if she don't pop up, if her season she don't pop up with a with uh with a wife with a girlfriend, not a wife, but with a girlfriend. Hmm. Um, I, I, I'm gonna be shocked. Be. the dude with the who writes the newspaper is also cute was it because every time i was watching season two i watched season two five times so i know every storyline season two and every time i had already watched season two and i already watched their scenes my ass was on the skip button like go, 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 go. i did not find them cute i actually found i was actually very angry when he was trying to help her find who lady whistledown is can y'all leave lady whistledown alone can y'all leave her her identity alone? Y'all really trying to find her? She just trying to make a bag and reveal these people's secrets because y'all be keeping secrets. If you guys didn't have secrets, she wouldn't have anything to write about. But you want to be shady and that's why she's writing about you. Oh, let's reveal Lady Whistle Down. I didn't like it. That's why maybe I didn't like him because I was like, what? what's your business in Lady Whistle Down? And the fact that he was like, oh, she prints at my shop. Yo, why are you revealing her secrets? Like, I was like, snitch, bye, you're a snitch, you're a snitch, you're a snitch. Because Eloise trying to find out is a different story. This dude is, is snitching. He's snitching. And he's making a check off Lady Whistledown, but he's snitching on her? Get out of my fucking face. And if Cressida and Eloise don't have, like, a little romantic moment, I don't want them to date, but I need them to have a little, like, moment. Because they're just it, it just makes sense in my mind first of all it's pride month how can you come up with pride month and have no gay couples in the show hello can you please be woke <laughs> i'm waiting for eloise and Cressida to like have a little scene where they're like Ooh. and then the next season they like never address it and then they move on please because I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I really don't like how everybody keeps on saying, Chris and I and her are best friends. Girl, no, they're not best friends. They're lovers to me. But anyway, I'm probably going to be proven wrong. But I feel like Eloise just, just does not like men. I feel like she does not like men. And I feel like her liking men and her being associated with men is just like so weird to me and it's also like kind of revealed that lady whistledown is like the queen is putting out i i also read this in the book not read this in the book i watched somebody who read the book and it was explaining it that the queen is gonna put like a cash prize to find lady whistledown and then at 12 a.m lady whistledown is gonna be revealed and i'm just like y'all better not reveal her because then how is she going to write the gossip in the next season? I need people's tea to be outed. Plus, I saw this video that said, I'm glad that Eloise and Penelope are no longer friends. And I 100% agree. 
feel like Eloise is finding herself. She's no longer like stuck in this box where she just wants to hang out with Penelope. She's finding out new people. She's finding out new experiences. And I am one for that. I actually like Eloise in this season. The person that I don't like is fucking Benedict and that fossil age ass lady. Now, before you say you're ageist, before you come in here and say, Wanda, you see that you're being ageist, you're being ageist, you're being ageist, girl. I would have said that about the dude from season one, the weird ass dude from season one, this cougar ass lady for season three. She need to go because I feel like Benedict does not get any good storylines. He basically he just he just continues to get the same storylines. And I thought in season two, like, Madame Delacroix and him were going to have, like, a little fling, which they did in season one, and then they don't in season two. So I was like, then in season two, who does he get hit with? Oh, that, that art lady who's, like, a woman, the, the only way I can learn art is to be in, in a, a, a statue. Uh, like, these woke-ass women that Benedict be getting with, I'm just like... Benedict, honey, I get it. I get it. You want the boom boom. <laughs> you want to get laid, we get it. But, like, can you, like, get a different storyline? Like, I feel like this season should have just been Benedict being single. Wow. A different concept. Him being single and him trying to find out his true self. Because it's... He's always with somebody. This nigga's always with somebody. It's like, what about him just being by himself? What about him just vibing by himself? Y'all can never do that. Y'all can never just let Benedict just be Benedict. Y'all always have to put some cougar ass lady or some, uh, some, some sex parties or some, what's in season two some model like why can't we like get a proper storyline and i saw someone saying they're focusing so much on francesca and yet the next season is benedict and i also clocked that i also clocked that i was like why are there so many francesca scenes but we had never seen benedict benedict has basically disappeared and I was like, yeah, why are we seeing... I don't want the next season to be Francesca's. I'm not watching. I will watch it, but I, I just... No, 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 no. And first of all, these Bridgerton readers, the people who read Bridgerton, they always just be, like, spoiling the the this, the, the show for us. Because why do I already know Francesca's story in the whole way through? Like, they can't just shut their mouths and just... Let the people who haven't even watched or if haven't even read the books to like see from themselves or read the books from themselves. They always have to like ruin it, and it's like annoying. It's like every time I already know what's gonna happen for just the story. I'm not gonna say it here because I respect my audience. But it's annoying. Like I stop doing that. Stop ruining things for people. I remember thinking. I'm about to beat this bitch. I don't know Benedict's storyline, so I'm happy about that. I hope that he honestly... Ugh, I just don't know. I'm just... The fact that we're going to have to wait three years for a new season is already annoying. Two, it better not be something where... It annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> if you want my true opinion on the benedict season go watch my this video this video go watch this video right here right here go watch this video and go watch my other video where i talk about the woman who's casted to be benedict's love interest and if she's benedict's love interest my ass is gonna be there my ass you know, my ass is gonna be seated on this i don't know if i'll be home but my ass will be seated and my eyes will be glued to the fucking screen and my ass will be on the edge of the fucking seat because I'll be ready to watch. Because I love Benedict, but his same ass cougar. The cougar ass storyline, I was like, 
Benedict, can you can you do something that's different? Can y'all give us something that's different? I know it might be hard. I know it might be hard, but give us something different. To Pen- Let's go back to Penelope Pollock. The story did not eat or is not eating enough because, first of all, th- that man did not grovel. He just said sorry, and then she's like, okay, like, <laughs> I guess. This, nigga's- this dude said that I would never dream of courting her in my wildest dreams. Oh my god, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. And you're just going to be like, okay with that? That he just disrespected you like that? You're just, you're just, you're just going to be okay with that. Like this is that. your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, and, I'm and that's, and that's, him. and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. You need to be like a romance screenwriter not like writing the actual show but they need to have me in the corner of the fucking room and then they just need to be discussing and i'll be like no you have to do this because bridgerton is a cheesy ass show and they should just be cheesy like they don't need to invent anything new season two is not anything (laughs) bro season two season two Oof, season two, I just love it so much, and I'm gonna rewatch it after I watch season three to just remind me what an amazing season is. And people said that there were not enough Cantonese scenes, like because it's an ensemble cast, and y'all showing the Mondrages who we don't give a fuck about instead of showing Cantonese. And then people are like, no, Cantonese is gonna be in season four. Perfect. Hey, have a good day. Y'all can keep that trash too. Thank you, girl mess mess i just want to see cantony i just want to see cantony i just want to see kate my woman crush i just want to see kate 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 i don't care about anybody else but kate benedict i really did care about him as i said in the video where i broke down season one and season two i love benedict and then in this season when i saw that his love interest was going to be this cool girl i was like I feel like the writers don't like Benedict. They don't. They don't fuck with him. They really don't fuck with him hard. They hate him. So anyway, this is what I'm expecting from the half of the season. Let's go. I don't want Lady Wilson to be revealed. That's my first thing. If she's revealed, whew, I'm going to be stressed. Two, um, Colin better... Ch- like just like change his act up like he 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 needs to be more charming to me three i need to see more cantony scenes because why are the fucking montages there but cantony is not there like make it make fucking sense i know jonathan bailey was like working on wicked but he needs to come back and work on cantony season four because we're gonna be out season four we need to see him um four uh, Eloise better like pipe down with the with the threatening. She better pipe down. Five. I don't want Lady Wisdom to be revealed. Six. I don't want Lady Wisdom. <laughs> I want. I would want Eloise and Penelope to work together. Clock it to work together in a way that would make Lady Wisdom a little bit less scandalous. You know, when she's revealing news, it's a little bit less, I'm outing you, and more like, I'm just I'm just saying the tea, you know? Like, you know, I, I hope they join forces. And I saw that Pe- Colin thinks that Penelope's hiding a secret from him, and he's like, why do you think so secretive? Why do you have ink on your hands? Mind your own business, sir. She has her own life. What if she's reading? She's writing something. <sighs> Two. He's like, I think you're keeping a big secret from me. And honestly, you shouldn't keep that secret from your partner. But at this point, keep it from him. I don't want him anywhere near this this secret. Because I'm going to be pissed. I don't want Lady Wissadon to be revealed so bad. If she's revealed, 
I don't know how they're even gonna continue on with the show. Can y'all stop with this whole Lady with Down reveal? Because it's it's already annoying me. It's already getting on my nerves, and I don't like things that get on my nerves so quickly. Like, please stop, 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 stop. And what else am I expecting? Cressida and Eloise kiss, kissing. Um, who who else is there? Mondrages. Can y'all? I I hope that the the writers or like the people who edit the editors of the second half saw the comments about people not giving a fuck about the bondages and then they just really just cut out their fucking scenes and if i'm right about them having wanting to have a black couple and a black family on screen girl make benedict's love interest black and introduce her family to the mix hello and leave the fucking Mondrizes. First of all, why were the Mondrizes in season two? Like, they should have been left in season one because the Mondrizes were friends with. I was gonna say Reggae Jean. What's that dude's name? Simon. And they were also connected to Lord Featherington. And both of them are out of their picture. Simon and Lord Featherington are out of the picture. Y'all need to go out of the picture too. I'm sorry. You need to leave. We don't want to see you black coming from a black African person. We don't want to see you. Bye. Bye. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to see you anymore. You, you, you better. I'm sorry. Season through four, we don't want to see them. They, they really do not add anything. Like if you really think about it, what do they add? anyway so that's all i need to say about season three if i have more thoughts if i like go on tiktok and i have more thoughts i will do n- another video because yes but yes subscribe like and comment your opinion because i really love reading opinions that are differing from mine because i love a good person who can you know disagree with me who can be like Actually, Wendy, I think here you were wrong. <laughs> You're probably like, why is your channel flower on the wall, but flower, flower on the wall, but you always say Wendy, because I don't want anybody to know my YouTube channel in real life. So that's why it's why on the wall, and that's why I never put my face in thumbnails. But um, disagree with me, agree with me, say your own opinions, like say your own takes on the stories and yeah season season three better come out in two years or a year because i'm not waiting more than that for benedict's story because benedict is already fucking boring he's already boring he's already boring me anyway guys bye i will put in all the tiktoks i will i have a green screen i don't know if it'll work out because it's not ironed I bought it today because I wanted to, like, yeah. So, yeah. Bye.